We are recording. Yeah. Yay. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Last time, May was a bit of a troublemaker. May Borowski in the game, that is. Not the adorable Pikachu plushie I've named after her. This time, well, let's see where the story goes from here. Hey, Dad. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow, are you okay? No. Okay. So, what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know where to even start. It's just, I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real, and I think something really bad is gonna happen. I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on their way somewhere else, and I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, and, shh, kitten, take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Dot, dot, dot. Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Oh boy, everyone's favorite program. Garbo and Malloy. Malloy. Garbo. Ever think about you know the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a church goer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't been in religion yet. You're making up as we live on. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. It could, Malloy. But it would be... Wait for it. A Wappa! Got it next. Garbo Knight, contact the dead. Alright, that was fun. Let's go to bed now. Going up the stairs. Hey, Pete. What, you up? Yes, ma'am. What's up? Nothing. A little sick of done, Wolf. Yeah, that's why I don't go there. So good. How can it be so good and so like me to you? It's a wild world, May. Anyway, Pete, and then we dropped a robot in the woods. Okay, I'm too sleepy to try to decide for that. Go to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Hey, man. Hey, man. Sorry about like everything. Are we still apologizing? Can we be the of heart? Ha ha, sorry. I mean, you know. Ha 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 ha. Night, dude. Night. Alright. Bedtime? Okay. From what I predict, we're not too far away from the end of the story. Um, I'll be curious to show the DLC if anyone's interested. So, no dream this time around. We just go straight to the next day. Morning, kitty. Jeez, ah, feels like it's been years since I got back. It's all this again. Alright, stuck with our Madre here. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. 
and I'm making an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. Aside from being cute on a tight rope, we haven't gone here in a while. On the bridge. Downtown where I drew some blood. So apparently that's just a spot where you can reflect. <laughs> you're not lost, you're here. And that's apparently as far as we can go. Two miles and you go into the highway. It's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall. And the haunted barn and the brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Call me for a good time. I think any future episodes of this playthrough, including this one, I might only mark it as not for kids if we do encounter foul language. And possibly violent sentences, because there's nothing too, too extreme about this game. I mean, you know, it's not like I'm playing Mortal Kombat. Hey, get down to those parallel lines! Huh? It's Aunt Molly. Oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran tests on that arm you guys found today's days back. Oh really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested in this all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. And medium build. He was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means it doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked Detective Story when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Wow, first time we've been taken down from the tightrope. Get with the slushy. Wait up, wait up. <laughs> miss me, miss me. Okay. <laughs> FYI, I don't take screenshots while I record myself because I think it might mess with the recording. Hey, Beatrice. Whoa! Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess, sure. Tired, had a headache for days. She'll like go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. This stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? Bad? Sorry, ghost. Thanks. And if I feel bad, I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rest in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull's gonna explode. So yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Did you still want to check out the graveyard? Nah, not today, or... Actually, yeah, let's do it. The graveyard. Okay. Alright, so now onto this chapter. Foggy. Always got the evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know, good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here around. So, Beatrice is not much of a jumper, because, but she's pretty chill. 
And you have some words of cigarette in your mouth looks like a lollipop. Well, there's a statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm alone for the ride. <sighs> Earlier I got through watching the first season of Harley Quinn on HBO Max. Quite a wild ride, I must say. No need to go stories? Not top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now, and no one in power gives a sh- Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez, I meant like a skeleton or something? Oh, right, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night, or a skeleton outside your window? A regular stranger person outside your window? He's smiling, or he's frowning. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scary stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is done, let's go. <sighs> Explode. I'm all sewn up. Walking through the grave, walking through the graveyard. I will say the fog effects are really cool in this game. I'm gonna go visit my mom, so he's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll just check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. When I came to the dinosaur class back at school, it's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up to here then. Let's check out a grave or three. So nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this for 95 years. Wow. She was born the most high-tech thing with horses. She had to like look out the window to see a horse. And now we have like pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. Even Bojack. He sells from horses to internet horses. He's a run. Catherine Fish. Taken by food 14 years old. Dang. 14 years. It's not enough time. I wouldn't have said anything anyone else could understand. She could have at least one good sentence in life. So yeah, this game does deal with pretty deep signs. Deep depression, overcoming mortality. Hey, Eden. Eden. Watch out to bud. Looking for a ghost while my friend is in her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a second? Shoot. Do you take the graves with a shovel, or do you get spooked out here while you're lonesome? Nah, I work here. It tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You think about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Freaking sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghosts. Good guy. Crude idea, grave digger.
in here, which means we gotta explore more. But yeah, I definitely won't spoil things for Harley Quinn for anyone who hasn't seen the series. I will say I really did enjoy Kaylee Poco's lead role in the first season. Like, in my opinion, she's one of the best actresses out there. Right, Brad Boyson. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooshed it. So right. Tease me. How long does mom visit take? TikTok features, we got places to be. So what many of you might guess from this is that Beatrice's mother actually passed away and she's visiting her grave. Holy crap, I'm a jerk. that flood and yet here we are okay you ready you know when I was down there I think I heard music from the top of the hill and like voices huh that's uh, spooky yeah not sure what's going on up there let's go find out you coming oh yeah sure all right so up the hill we go They say, the scariest thing to mind is the unknown, so proceed with caution. And now we're shadows. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, weary travelers. You see cancers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Ha ha ha, wow. Hey guys, do you know these kids? Ha uh, yeah, we met. What are y'all doing? It's the subway kids. Okay, so, we are the keepers of the gate. Is the little gate you're sitting in front of? We govern who shall pass and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions, truthfully. What? And you may pass in the realm of the gate dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? Done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown here. Or at least, answer. Um, it was fantastic. Really? Not very much lying. Okay. And you? Yeah. What, when? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently I have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask them like spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle, or you're like you're gonna watch wrestling? We go to see wrestling, or I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they have to be like, grrr, because I don't even want to date someone who's not grrr. So you're going to wrestle this person? Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. They'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding, and then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet, I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class, Ha ha ha. 
That's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh, God. One time in junior high, one time in band camp, one time in high school, one time in college. There's this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria, like, a few times a week. I guess our schedule's lined up or something, which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Cut to... Uh-oh. Cut the chase. Jeez. Okay. I got the nerve to talk to her, and I followed her out in the hallway, and I don't know why, but I shouted, Hey! And she turned around, and then all I could do was wave. Oof. This is funny. And... And then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool, but I ran into the store from right behind me. And her and I staggered back, and then, and then fell in the trash can outside the cafeteria. My face went in the trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I, like, failed until the trash tipped over, and I got up, and the girl had had. She'd watched all of it. And I tried to give her the smile, like, I had somehow meant to do that, but it turns out I swallowed some of the trash. Spaghetti. And I puked all over myself. No one you came home. Okay, shut up. <laughs> wow, it's messed up. I'm gonna throw up, thanks for nothing. You have to come face to face for your lowest moment. Maybe pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let's pass already. The power to pass, we'll send your hands all along, plot twist. What? What the F in hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. right now. Forget it. Let's go. Alright, so... This kind of reminds me of... The Weird Mysterious Town from Pay Mario Thousand Your Door, which... I've never played, but I've seen playthroughs of it from... King Grumps and PK Sparks. So like, ghosts? Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe them, in, but yeah. So you know how much you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, did you ever see my mom? It's hard to like, recognize anyone. But you can get a sense of people. And I'm pretty sure I saw her. Really? As far as I can tell. I just want to know if she's somewhere. And okay. She's somewhere B. And okay. Thanks. I don't know if you're just lying. Or you dreamed it. Or what. But even if she just made all that up, it was nice of you. Hmm. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big ass gate. Ugh, oh, we make a giant gate in the graveyard. To keep you like you out? And to stop what you're probably gonna do? Um, yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Great, gotta do everything around here. Here she goes. I'm just the driver. Fine, hey now, I'll be back. Alright, so we gotta do a bit of platforming here. Oh. There's no way I'm gonna leave behind. Uh, Beatrice, just learn to jump. Not with those scry legs, I guess. How do you break that gate open? back here and it's getting late. Hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Ugh, I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we do here? Uh, I'm gonna guess just look around. For ghosts? Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone sewed. Thank you. You go there? No, me. You know. I'd say. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? No. This 
goose or a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried a horse in the groups. And of course, size coffin. Imagine. <sighs> Imagine all the people living for today. Also, I've noticed we can't jump in this section. I can press the X key and nothing's happening. Stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash this shit up. Uh, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe! And still nothing. fell six feet under. Holy shit. Holy shit. What'd you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, it's a coffin. Oh crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not gonna open a coffin with a rotten corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Jeez, God, are we not doing this while we were leaving? Aren't you kind of curious at least? Uh, 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 yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm staying here. We're actually opening up a coffin. Okay. I'm, I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Notice we're shaking nervously while doing this. Whoa! Ah! Apologies for anyone who was jump scared by that. So what, foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not, we're like criminal vandals. Or like Grey Roberts or something. Those two. We're all out of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just like, out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave. Now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine, jeez. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. Well, that was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? That, okay, fine, but he was there. Maybe it was the groundskeeper or something, investigating who was running in his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper's a dude? Oh, shut up. Rah! I saw the effing ghost! Why does no... May? Uh-oh. This went to creepypasta territory. I think your ah, May. I think your spiritual senses are acting up. May, what's wrong? Ah! Holy crap! Uh, uh my head. Jeez. Uh, let's get to the car. I've got migraine pills. We can get you home. No! Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. I need everyone. Stop talking. Go get in the car. I think May just had a panic attack. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. 
So, like, do you have any idea of what's going on? It's a ghost that's in my head. It's a ghost following me. I have no idea. But there's a ghost. It's after me. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines, and you saw something that freaked you out. It makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what it's all. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll, I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. <laughs> Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was expecting to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, uh -huh, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. Rat laws. Thank you for believing me. Mostly I just don't want you wandering around up there, alone, at night. Close enough. All right, let's hunt some ghosts. Haven't been on a long time. Got this for hours. Why? No reason. All right, I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Hmm. Little Joe staying skull. This is why the spirit wanderers must be avenged. All right. Well, I've been recording for about 30 minutes now, so I'm gonna call the episode here. Next time on Nine in the Woods, the whole game's here. Let's go after this ghost. See you guys then. Bye.